What up is going on everybody, Beast HD here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys another tutorial here in Photoshop, and I'm going to be showing you how to make some really realistic sandy text. And to do this we're going to be using a displacement map, and I'll be showing you guys how to do this, so do not worry, all you need for this tutorial is to head on over to Google and just get yourself a picture of some sand. All I did was I just headed head over to Google Images, typed in sand, and um, I just picked this image, it was like the third or fourth one down. So basically that's all you guys have to do for this tutorial, go on over and get yourself a picture of some sand. So uh, once you have your picture downloaded we're going to jump into Photoshop. Once in Photoshop we're going to hit Ctrl O on our keyboard, this will bring up our open window. Go on over to wherever you saved your sandy picture and then just double click to open that up in Photoshop. So once we have our sandy picture here in Photoshop I'm going to go to Filter and then I'm going to hit Blur. I'm going to go down here to Gaussian Blur and I'm just going to click on that. Our radius is just going to be one pixel and then I'm going to hit OK. Once we have that done, I'm now going to go up to the top once again to where it says Image, click on Image, go to Adjustments. Then we're going to go right down here to where it says Desaturate. I'm just going to hit on Desaturate. This makes our picture black and white. Once again, I'm going to head to Image, Adjustments. Now we're going to just click on Levels and bring these two sliders, the black slider and the white slider. Just drag this in to where your graph starts going up. So you see this black graph here, drag that slider to the start of the left side and then drag the right slider to the start of the right side, like so. Once we have that done, just hit OK. So that's what this is what we're going to be using as our displacement map. It might not make much sense to you at the moment, but once you have your image looking like mine is right now, just go on over to where it says File and then hit Save As. And I'm going to save this as Sand Map. And make sure you save this as a Photoshop file, so make sure you save it as the top one there, it's called PSD. So save your sand map as a Photoshop PSD, and then just click save. And now we can go ahead and close that image. So once again we're going to hit Ctrl O, and we're going to open our original sandy picture. So go ahead and just open your sand picture up once again. Once we have that done, we're going to stick some text in, so go here to this capital T, this is your text tool. We're going to left click and drag out our text box and you can use basically whatever font you want. My font I am using is called Wolf in the City. It is a free font I got on 1001fonts.com. If you would like to use this font then I will stick a link in the description but like I said you can use basically whatever font you would like to use. So I'm just going to type out um, whatever you want to type out basically. I'm just going to say Beast and I'm going to rotate this down a tiny bit like so. I'm just going to go to one of the corners, left click and just drag down to rotate. Once I'm happy, I'm going to click this tick over here. I'm going to go up to my top tool here, my move tool, and I'm just going to move this down a tiny bit. I'm going to center it up a little bit, like so. So once we have that done, I am now going to go over to the text layer. It, your layer will be called whatever your text is. I'm going to right click on that layer, and I'm going to go convert to smart object, like so. So once we have that done, I am now going to go up here to where it says filter, and this is going, I'm going to go down to distort and displace, and now we're going to be using our displacement map. So once again, that was filter, um, I'll just do it once again because I was kind of talking. <laughs> so filter, and then distort, and then displace, and then have your horizontal scale 10, vertical scale 10, and uh, just leave everything else the same. It opens up as the same as my one does anyway, so just click OK at this box. And then go to wherever you saved your sandmap.psd, just double click on that and let Photoshop do its thing for a sec and there we go, we have the text, it kind of wraps around the sand a little bit and this makes it a lot more realistic when we kind of work with the text a tiny bit more. So once we have that done we're going to go over to our text layer once again, I'm just going to double click on that text layer, this opens up our layer styles, I'm going to hit on bevel and emboss and then I'm just going to double click into bevel and emboss. My style, I'm going to change that from inner bevel, I'm going to just click emboss. And then my technique, I'm going to change from smooth to chisel soft. I'm going to change my, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to change, uh, change my depth down to about 10. Uh, oh, didn't mean to close that. Sorry, one sec. So yeah, I'm going to change my depth down to about 10. I'm going to have my direction, instead of up, I'm going to have down. My size, I'm just going to leave a 5. And then soften, I'm going to change that to about 5 as well. Now, once we have that done, I'm going to work on shading here. So we have use global light, but I'm going to change my angle to about 45 degrees, if I can get there. There we go. And then I'm going to leave this contour here, and I'm going to change my highlight mode from screen to color dodge. 
and then I'm gonna have my opacity up to just 100% like so. That's basically all we have to do. So now I'm just gonna hit on OK. So now we're gonna change the, um, come over here to where it says normal, click the drop down menu, and now I'm gonna change this to a linear burn if I can find it, there it is. I'm gonna change that to linear burn. I'm gonna bring my opacity down from 100% to about 30. Let's see what that looks like. That looks okay. And then I'm gonna bring my fill from 100 down to about 30 as well. So that is basically all we have to do, and that's just a really easy way to make some really realistic sandy text. So um, I really hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please do leave this video a like and all that good stuff, and subscribe for more tutorials in the future. So uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye bye!